Hey, greetings YouTube family. It's your brother, Brother Toby. I just want to come at you all with a quick video. Um, please don't mind my the smoke. This is potpourri. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so let me just go ahead and share what's on my heart tonight. Uh, so we all been aware of the election results and uh, things of that nature. And so what I simply wanted to say is this. Um, and I want to speak on our stance as Christians, our stance as believers in Christ, all right? Something that we must keep in, in our heads is the fact that this earth is not our home, okay? This is a temporary place for us. Our existence on this earth is very minute, it's very small in comparison to eternity, which is grand, and it's grandeur within itself is to infinity and infinity and infinity. I, I know I sound like those light years, but you know, it's true and it's what it is. So, what am I saying here, basically, right? Basically, I just want to say this, and we, when it comes to this election, when it comes to uh, things that have been transpiring over the past 72 hours, um, uh, this past week, you know, alone, we must keep in mind that, again, this world is not our home. Uh, this is not our permanent place. And no matter if you're candidate one, if he didn't win or he did win or whatever the case um, the Bible says to honor Caesar but to love Jesus and I'm just paraphrasing so I'm going to say that one more time the Bible says to honor your king it didn't give any type of, of uh, stipulations when the word when Jesus himself said that honor give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God so if we're to honor, you know, our leaders, we're supposed to. Romans 13 talks about authority, all right? All authority is from God, okay? If you go into the Old Testament, you would see how it was God's initial plan. Keep in mind, it was God's initial plan for his people, the Israelites, to not have any type of king because God had already knew, just like he knows now, because he's Alpha and Omega, God knew the ending before the beginning. So he knew that, man, if, if I give these people what they want, these kings are going to keep their children, uh, excuse me, their children to war. They're going to uh, have fatherless homes. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I, I can see the fruition of those thoughts and, and those results, but because we're God created us to have free will, and sometimes, as what the Bible says too, some things are, uh, all things are permissible, but not all things are beneficial. So with that being said, um, we just have to keep in mind that our faith is not synonymous to um, to our political party. You know, the Republican Party and Democratic Party are literally wings and feathers on the same bird. Okay. God, Jesus is not surprised by who won or who's going to win. Or because you know a lot of people are talking about recount and vote fraud. Either way, we still gotta honor who's in that office as president. We still gotta obey the laws of the land for that period. And then kingdom minded people have to understand that who ever sits in that office, well, there's the the vice the first vice president of color, whether she sits in that seat or whether someone else does. We still have to honor our leaders. We have to pray for our leaders, not based on their past, the history, because of what they're doing. They're leading the nation to the best of their ability. They are there to do a job, and that's what we should have. But here, what I've been seeing a lot lately is that there's been a lot of unjust scales. The Bible speaks about six things that the Lord despises: a feet, excuse me, feet that are put to shed blood. Um, a lying tongue, uh, a haughty look, basically a proper look, um, a person that sells the vision amongst the body, um, and I'm drawing a blank now, so <laughs> forgive me for that. Uh, I said the uh, feet that are put to shed innocent blood, like murder. Um, and yeah, and, I, and forgive me because I can't think of the other two right now, but these are the things that the Lord detests, and I was just, you know advise you to look on, you know, look into the word and learn what those things are. And so America has, has had this thing of where uh, we tend to 
have unjust scales. We have these imbalance, imbalances, and it's based on a on a bad metric system. You know what I'm saying? It's based on bad uh, intentions. You know, where we talk about one thing, but yeah, we don't want to talk about the other thing. We don't want to talk about the elephant that's truly in the room. And so when it comes to these men of stature and power, we have to pray for them. We pray that they that you know great decisions will be made because. When you look at the trajectory of the presidency in the United States over the past 20 years, which I've been advocating, you know, on my social media forums and formats, is that all every president has done a thing or two or many things that has not satisfied the people, and they've done things that has satisfied the people. You know what I mean? But in any case, you know, we're, we're not always going to be pleased by the decisions that are made. And so I was making this video to simply say that, look. You know, God is so sovereign. Uh, you're a brother and brother in Christ. I still love you. If you're a sister in Christ, I still love you no matter who you vote for. In the day, we're all brothers and sisters in the same house, in the same family. You know what I'm saying? Let's not forget, you know, what it's truly about. Let's remember that this is about God. This is about His mapped out plan. It's already been laid out in the Bible. God has already made it in from the beginning. I said that already. You know, no one knows God's thoughts but God, but the triune Godhead. God knows what's going on. He knows what's going to happen. You see what I'm saying? And so, closing out, I just want to say this, that he's not surprised by what's going on. We as the people, this is the time where we exercise our faith. And we hold a firm and we lay a hold to that. So, Lord, I just, I just thank you, God. I bless your name, Lord. I pray that in Jesus' name that... Okay. Praying, excuse me. So God, I pray that in Jesus' name that you would just bless what's going on, God, that you would just open up the eyes of your people. And God help us just to retain and remain focused on the Lord. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share the video. I would love to have all of you. Peace and God bless. Shalom.